You mentioned James Lankford, very conservative senator of Oklahoma, who's been running this bipartisan negotiation. He spent the day yesterday fighting against his own colleagues making the case for this bill. I would also remind folks during the Trump administration, we also had days of more than 4,000 people that were illegally crossing the border under the Trump administration in 2019, and they were struggling because there's gaps and loopholes in the law. So we actually have this bill came out uh, yesterday, Sunday. Uh, it, the first procedural vote is Wednesday, and that procedural vote is literally just open it up to be able to go through it and to be able to say, are we going to debate it this week? That's what Senator okay. Lee is actually talking about. It's interesting that he said he's already opposed to it. I have seen enough. This bill is even worse than we expected. It won't come close to any of the border catastrophe the president has created. As the lead Democrat negotiator proclaimed, under this legislation, the border never closes. If this bill reaches the House, it will be dead on arrival. Your thoughts? Yeah, un unfortunately, he would step out and be able to see that right away before, obviously, he had had a chance to be able to read it as well and to be able to go through it. The key aspect of this, again, is are we as Republicans going to have press conferences and complain the border's bad and then intentionally leave it open? So, Joe, Senator Langford calmly rebutting all the arguments that his own colleagues are making against this, in many cases misrepresenting the text of the bill to make an argument against it. Yeah. He's calmly correcting it. And I think he's been surprised, and we can talk to Jackie and others about this, about how his yeah. Republican colleagues who helped him get this together are now turning yeah. on him and going the other way in the service of Donald Trump. Well, and, and of course, you have the Speaker of the House who claims that the Bible guides him, claims that the Jesus, I guess, must have told him, I don't know, I didn't read this part of the Sermon on the Mount, but to gain power by lying. To gain power by pushing the big lie. As Liz Cheney said, he was the chief proponent of the big lie. He didn't believe it, but said, I need to do this ghost to get close to Donald Trump. And so he's now going around lying on, I've seen enough. This bill is too liberal. Is that going to be I've his voice? I've seen enough. What is his voice? Okay. Uh, and so he's done that. And then Langford goes, well, gee, would have been nice if he actually read the bill. It's 370 pages. If it's he would have actually like read the bill before saying that. But again, I guess in his Bible, God, I've heard about the Jefferson Bible, mm. but the Johnson Bible, holy sh Nikes, mm. that must be some Bible that tells it's you to lie. It tells you to lie about elections, tells you to lie to get into power, tells you to lie and you admit that you're a liar, to get into power, to get close to Donald Trump, and now you're lying about a bill you haven't even read. Well, guess who has read the bill? Not that guy. Not that guy. Because Mar-a-Lago tells him to jump and he goes, ha ha. <laughs> so that guy hasn't read the bill. The Wall Street Journal editorial page, as Willie said, they've read the bill, Mikey. They don't care if Mikey likes it or not. They've read the bill. And this is what they have to say, Gene Robinson. It's unbelievable. A border security bill worth passing. The Senate bill has reforms Trump never came close to getting. By any honest reckoning, this is what says the Wall Street Journal editorial page, by any honest reckoning, but that's something Mike Johnson wouldn't know anything about. By any honest, honest is the word, Mikey. Look that up in your Bible that you've, you've made up. By any honest reckoning, this is the most restrictive migrant legislation in decades. Previous immigration talks have involved trading security measures for legalizing more immigration. There is little of that in this bill. This is almost entirely a border security bill, and its provisions include longtime GOP priorities that the party restrictionists could never have passed only a few months ago. Are you listening, Mikey? Just because Donald tells you to jump doesn't mean that you have to put America's security at risk. Because as the journal says, there are parts in this bill that, quote, party restrictionists could have never passed a few months ago. If Republicans reject this bill, the Wall Street Journal editorial page goes on to say, they will hand Democrats an argument 
that the GOP wants border chaos that they can exploit as a campaign issue. The chaos will continue for at least another year. The chaos will continue. Mike Johnson to America, go to hell. Mike Johnson to America, drop dead. Mike Johnson to Israel, drop dead. Mike Johnson to Ukraine, drop dead. Another year. Another year of fentanyl streaming across the border. Another year of illegal immigrants streaming across the border. All because Donald Trump told Mike Johnson... The same Donald Trump who said he wanted a depression, he wanted Americans' uh, retirements destroyed, he wanted their economy destroyed so he could get reelected. Donald Trump is now telling Mike Johnson, I want the border open for another year. What does that mean? This is not MSNBC primetime. This is not the New York Times editorial page. This is the voice of the conservative movement. And this is what the Wall Street Journal editorial page is saying. The chaos will continue for at least another year. Because of you, Mike Johnson, because of you, Donald Trump, the fentanyl will flood across the border for another year because of you. Because James Langford has put together the most restrictive Border security bill ever. Ever. The chaos will continue for at least another year. Republicans may think they can write a better law if Mr. Trump wins in November, but don't count on it. And Gene Robinson, as the Wall Street Journal editorial page says, the bastion of conservatism, as it says in its subhead, the Senate bill has reforms Trump never came close to passing. Mr. Build That Wall. Mr. Put Children in Cages. Mr. I'm the toughest president ever on illegal immigration. Never, ever did Donald Trump come close to getting legislation this restrictive and, and so restrictive that border security agents are begging Republicans, please pass this. Make our lives better. Make our lives safer. Make our jobs safer. Please pass this. And Gene, Mm -hmm. they just won't. And guess what? What a shock. Mike Johnson, the, 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 the biggest promoter, the big lie in the house, Mike Johnson lying through his teeth about a bill he never even read.